Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that how to know that my Toyota's timing chain is bad and timing is bad. Okay, how I can check that? And this test and service and inspection is the good to do when if you have any issues in with this your Toyota engine. And this engine can be gasoline or diesel Toyota engine. And normally if we have any issues like engine running, bad starting and bad idle and difficult to accelerate this engine and weak power output, then we need to take this timing chain issue in one of those possibilities. And how we can inspect this situation? Firstly, we have to open this cylinder head cover and there are those bolts and I have already removed those and now I take this cover away and we can then look this camshaft area and also this critical area, what is this timing chain. And now when you are in that same position that I, that I am, that you need to check this Toyota's timing. First you have to check that what are these your engines and timing chains, these timing marks and symbols in here. And in my case these symbols are these, uh, these yellow lines in here, both areas, and then these lines in this camshaft area. And we can check in this uh, Google search and there is this top dead center positions and when we are now checking this my engine is the, this top dead center position in Toyota engines there is markings that this mark must match this, this mark and then that small dot where I have actually add a little bit this yellow paint in here. This must match in here. And now when we are looking these things, they looks quite okay, but then there is third point what we have to look and it is this crankshaft pull feel. And it is in here down area. And let's go to look that. And there is this crankshaft pull feel and we need to rotate that feel, there is the central nut in here and when we install our reins in here, like in big reins and we rotate this feel, we have to also know that these yellow markings in here, they are also this top, top dead center markings. And let's go to look those. You can see better and also in here I have made like informative purpose these yellow markings and these signs must be in same line in here, same plane in that line and that line and now we can see that now this crankshaft is just in right top dead center position and this position means that cylinder 1 is up and all of these settings are in right and, and then we can go to back this up area because there is more info to us. Okay, and now we are back in this up area and now we can look more closer these markings because now I think that this my chain it is even stretched or it has been jumped a little bit because this line must be in here and, and this my yellow line is in wrong position and let's check this another this this position also and now when I, if I like to rotate and move these camshafts I need big 
this wrench like 24 millimeter and let's look at how this movement happens. We, when we have this big wrench it fits in this position in here. There are like bolts in here and I can a little bit carefully move this my cams and now when I move that carefully I move that in this way that we can check this that that area in here that how how they fit in that way and then carefully little by little in this way and in that way and now we have better view in this area in here we can inspect this camshaft and timing chain position in here and in that one this one looks good there is no any any error in here and let's go to look closer when we look that closer view this this mats there is small dot in here just in that area in this field and it looks like that this area is right this is in just right position yellow label and there yellow my marking and dot in this sprocket okay good and that means now that this my second feel is bad when we look at another camshaft position now we can see right away that this is not in line it is it is in wrong position and my timing is now bad and now I a little bit moved at my my cam in in here that we can we can see this this thing and and now when we look in here we can right away see that now this my my position is bad we look that closer even closer we can see that this label must be in here it is like half chain part in wrong position okay and what to do next what I can repair that thing if I have situation that my timing is in this way bad then I need to replace this timing chain the new one and also here are some another parts what I should to replace and let's go to look those parts next first part what we need to replace is this tensioner it belongs in here because this part compress this timing chain this is also important to check and also replace and then there are those rails in here and let's go to look those plastic rails okay and then I take this my timing chain cover away in that way and we can look at what parts I need to replace also and in that area we have two of those rails these rails are these parts in here, these plastic parts in here and these parts burn out and that's this timing chain moves more and it is not in right timing these are these plastic rails and let's go to look closer these parts now we can see that this area this brown, this is plastic in that one and tensioner compress in here and it keeps that timing chain in right position but if this rail, plastic rail burn out too much then there is too much movement in this timing chain and that's we need to also maybe to replace this timing chain rails in here what we can now see okay good okay and this was my 
information and of course when we have this timing chain issue we have to replace this timing chain of course because this has been became stretched like longer all of these rails in here and these parts they are bigger okay good that kind of information and thumbs up my friend if you think that this was useful to you and see you in next video